So you might be in a situation where for some reason your particular iPhone is giving you this pop-up that tells you that the integrity of that application cannot be verified. Now, this is a troubleshooting thing as old as time itself because this is a multi-part story. If you're trying to go through and if you're trying to install and silo an application on your iPhone, aka an IPA file, or a you know, you're trying to install whatever type of you know tweet or sort of like weird app on your particular iPhone, you have to keep in mind that this is not really a way to do it anymore. The only way to go and fix this, if it is somehow applicable to you, let's say your developer, you know, adding, adding this to your developer account or whatever the case is, kind of the main way to go and fix this problem is to go and make your way over to your settings application. So you make your way right into settings. And what you're going to want to do when you come into this panel, you want to go and scroll down until you see a little option that says general. So tap into general, and then there's going to be a little pop-up that comes down here that says VPN and device management. It used to be profiles and device management, now it's VPN and device management. And within this particular pop-up area, there should be that profile that you have that you can basically go through and enable. And what's going to happen there is it's going to allow you to basically you know, enable that you know, particular application and install that profile on your phone. That way, when you go ahead and actually open up that file, it will allow you to go ahead and basically avoid that pop-up. So that is the way to fix it. I will tell you the main way for the most part to go and fix this problem for the most part too, is if for some reason that doesn't work, you can try restarting your iPhone and trying it again. So hold down the buttons to restart your iPhone, slide the power off, try doing that, that might end up fixing it. You can also try going through and actually updating your iPhone as well, by going into your iPhone settings application, just like this. Scroll down into general settings, which is right here. Click into software update, go and try updating your iPhone, and that's another way to kind of fix this problem as well. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.